What is up you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackenzie. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. So today's video, as promised, we are going to be testing out the glass cutter from Gryphon. So this is the studio glass cutter from Gryphon. And as you guys can see, it has quite a unique handle. So I'm really excited to test this out. And it also markets itself as a non-leak cutting fluid chamber or having one. So I'm really interested to see how well this holds oil too. And if you guys have been watching me for any amount of time, you know that I am a pencil grip glass cutter. So I'm really trying to push myself towards a pistol grip just to save my hands and my wrists since I am already experiencing carpal tunnel issues. So super pumped to try this out. I'm gonna do my best to use a pistol grip glass cutter. So testing this bad boy out sounds like something you guys are into. Well, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so before we get started, let's just take a quick look at the outer packaging of this. So of course it says Gryphon and it is the studio glass cutter. It says the most comfortable glass cutter you've ever used. Superior ergonomic design, unique cutting head, cuts both straight lines and curves equally well. Self lubricating, exclusive non-leak cutting fluid chamber, tough cutting wheel for long life. And then when you flip it over to the back, it says a really comfortable glass cutter with a cutting fluid reservoir that does not leak. So then on the back of the box, it has just your basic directions here, how to unscrew the brass plug at the base of the palm grip to put your fluid in. And it also talks about priming the cutter. So I don't think we need to read all of those directions. You guys probably know how to cut glass by now. So I think we can just crack right into this glass cutter. I'm really, really excited, but I'm also super nervous. You guys know that I only use a pencil grip glass cutter. So me putting this to the test is also going to be me putting myself to the test to see if I can even handle a pistol grip like I can a pencil. Of course I have pistol grip glass cutters, but I always will grab the pencil grip first just out of habit now. It's a lot easier for me. A lot of the time with other pistol grips, I can't really make the best fist because of my nails. So I'm hoping with this crazy design, I can grab it a lot easier, which I have taken it out and held it and I already know I can. So I'm super, super excited to try this. I think we can just open it up now. All right, so when you open it, it's got your foam here, obviously the glass cutter, and it also has this little oil container, which is super, super cool. Oh God, world's worst noise. Okay, so here's our little oil reservoir filler, which is pretty cool that it comes with that. You can just fill your glass cutting oil inside here, and then you can just fill up your glass cutter with that, which I love. And like I said, looking at this glass cutter, this is a very, very unique design. Not only by grip, look at, I can fully grip this, even with my nails, which is fantastic. Having something grip like this, it almost automatically ensures that your wrist is being held straight out. You can't make a fist and grip it tight with your wrist bent. It just doesn't work. When you grab this, because of that pointer finger placement, it almost ensures that your wrist is going to be straight and not bent. So that's fantastic. Right off the bat, I noticed that. So again, it's very well made. It's Gryphon. It's this really pretty purple see-through plastic. We've got the brass end for tapping or breaking glass and even down to the actual glass cutter itself. So the wheel is also shaped quite differently than your average glass cutter, pencil or pistol grip. It's got that very unique curve on the top and on the bottom. I'm pretty excited. I think we can just fill this bad boy up. As I've told you guys before, you can use something like three in one for cutting glass, but if you can, get yourself some glass cutting oil. All right, so I'm gonna try to carefully pour it into this little bottle here. All right, and toss this. If you guys are curious, this is Glass Pro Stained Glass Cutting Oil. So looking on the inside of this, there's a direct tube all the way down the handle to the tip. So I don't think I'm gonna take this tip off and prime it. I think I'm just going to pour this in and let it sit for a minute, maybe run that wheel back and forth and see if I can get some oil to start coming out of it and simply put some oil in. Oh, you can see the oil so clearly inside. Okay, grabbed a paper towel because I know I'm about to start making a mess. Brass plug goes back in, and there's already oil coming out of the tip. So what's really cool about this, but you can see directly into that tube, you know exactly how much oil is inside of there. You can see that this tube is entirely filled with glass cutting oil. Maybe I shouldn't have overfilled it. I probably shouldn't have filled it all the way. But like I said, we're gonna put this bad boy to the test. So 
I'm going to grab some scrap glass. Now that we've got our glass cutter full of oil, she is ready to go. Like I said, there's already oil coming out of the tip, so no priming was necessary. That worked great on its own. There's already oil coming out, so I think we can just get right to testing this thing. I'm gonna grab some scrap glass and we will do that. Alrighty guys, so since we're just going to be testing this on some random scrap glass, I'm just going to draw some random lines to cut just so we can really test this glass cutter out. Alrighty, so I've got my runners right here. Like I said, I already know oil is coming out of the tip, so we are good to go. So, like I said, already grabbing this with this pointer finger placed the way it is in this little nub right here, it automatically makes you hold your wrist super straight, which I don't know if that's just me or if that's actually what it feels like. As soon as I grab it, I want to automatically hold my wrist very straight. Let's just start testing this out. Not pushing super hard. All right, I can very clearly see the oil coming out of the tip, which is quite satisfying that it's not pooling up. We're getting a nice, beautiful scoring sound. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this, you guys. I don't know if this is just in my head, but I feel like this is already more successful than any other time I've tried to use a pistol grip. This is set very nice. It doesn't have any bounce. I don't like any flex in my tip whatsoever. Okay, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed right now. Let me sweep this away and let me cut some curves. Okay, I skipped those and I wanna draw some curved lines because to be honest with you guys, I was not expecting myself to even be able to cut those straight lines that easy. That's how much I struggle using a pistol grip. I don't know why using a pistol grip, I just have a really, really hard time staying on my pattern. And for whatever reason, a pistol grip has always just been my go-to. I can cut like nobody's business with a pistol grip or a pencil grip, excuse me. But when it comes to a pistol grip, I struggle. So when I just cut those, I was not anticipating it being that easy. So I didn't even bother they're drawing curved lines, but that went so smoothly. I want to just see if I can do a curved cut with that. I've never been able to successfully cut any type of curved line with a pistol grip like this. I'm in shock right now, you guys. I have struggled, you guys, to try to use a pistol grip. Like I said, if you guys have been watching me, you know that I have issues with carpal tunnel in my hands and my thumbs already. Sometimes it'll be weeks at a time where my thumbs are asleep, like that tingly feeling. So I've really, let me show you all the pistol grips I have. Okay, so I only have two left. I just threw away three a little while ago because I could not get them to work. I'm, I'm literally speechless. I don't know why this is so much easier. Is it just that handle alone? Is it the actual curved cutting head? I don't know. I imagine it's a mixture of both. I think a lot of it is to do with this handles and my nails. I don't know. I'm totally in shock. I just threw three of these away and I've tried many before that. And I just chalked it up to, okay, I'm not a pistol grip user. I'm always going to be a pencil grip. This has just opened an entire new door for me in my head. Okay, so I can cut crazy curves with it. If I can cut that, I know I can cut my normal crescent moon. Let me keep going and really get a feel for this glass cutter because I don't know if this is just like a fluke thing. If this, this is like beginner's luck using this pistol grip, but I'm gonna keep going and see if it continues to be this easy for me. I'm, oh my God, you guys, I'm literally totally in shock. I was not expecting this to go this well. I literally thought this was just going to be a glass cutter. Okay, and something else I noticed while I was just cutting that, 
I don't know, I'm gonna have to reach out to Matt Wolf over at Gryphon and see if I can get an answer as to why they curved the bottom of the glass cutting tip like this. But I noticed as I was cutting the glass, when you get to the edge of your glass and slide off of it, you're not slamming the cutting wheel onto the table because the glass cutter curve catches the edge of the glass. Does that make sense? So when I run this to the edge of the glass and it falls off, the tip hits the glass before it hits the table. Does that make sense? I don't know if that's why it was designed that way. Okay, I need to gather all of my thoughts because I'm quite literally speechless. I am going to cut a few more pieces of glass first, then we'll talk about my final thoughts on this glass cutter. Okay, well, I was not expecting that to go that well, you guys. Okay, so there are so many reasons I am speechless right now. Number one, I don't use a pistol grip. Number two, every single time I've tried to use a pistol grip, it has been an absolute disaster. I cannot handle it. It's just going all over the glass. I have no control and it hurts my hands versus helping. Number three, the oil well. Every single time I've tried to use any type of glass cutter with an oil well, any of my favorite pencil grips, never mind any of the pistol grips I've tried, they always leak oil. I filled this thing to the brim and it was holding onto that oil perfectly. This is literally, it's just such a simple, looking at it from the outside, it's a simple tool. Again, you guys, I, I know a lot of you has, have asked me to do a video on how YouTubers make money or why they get sent stuff. So when companies send us stuff, we're not obligated to say anything. A lot of the time when they send us stuff, it's open-ended. So I can say if I enjoy it or if I hate it. Where it gets murky is when YouTubers start getting paid to specifically talk about a product. Because if a company is paying you or sponsoring a video to specifically talk about a product the entire video or even for a small portion, they're not gonna be talking poorly about that product. But the difference is when you know you're getting sponsored for a video, you don't take sponsorships that you're not okay with. I'm not even sponsored. They just sent this to me and I'm absolutely blown away. That is my honest opinion. I was not anticipating how easy it was to use this. Using any other pistol grip is just a no-go. It's not happening. I've tried over and over and over again. I cannot get it to work. This was effortless. It literally left me speechless. I'm really excited to keep using it and I'm excited to see what you guys think. So, of course, I'm going to link this in the description box. It will not be an affiliate link. I will just link it to make it easier for you guys. If they have it on Amazon, of course, I will link it there as well. But let me know, what do you guys think of this glass cutter? Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it. Of course, if you wanna check out my stained glass work and my stained glass business, that will be linked down below too. And if not, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.